something of the sort. Uh, but we'll move on to our next story. Dubai residents work more overtime than anywhere else in the world. Now the results are in and Dubai has stopped the charts once again, but this time not in a way that residents would ideally want. Now, according to studies on work-life balance published by a mobile tech company, Kisai, Dubai ranked as the number one most overworked city and the second most safest city in the world. Now, if you are wondering how is the overworked percentage calculated? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Sorry, carry on. <laughs> I, I feel, I feel. <laughs> now, the percentage of full-time employees working more than 48 hours per working week in each city, so that is a higher percentage reflects a, a city with a greater amount of its population working overtime. However, since the pandemic, Dubai companies have become more flexible with allowing people to work from home. And along with that, the study also indicates that the Emirates ranked first in terms of having the lowest unemployment levels and the numbers of office leaves offered to workers. Yeah. So, I, I don't mean, know. It is. We get more yeah. holidays compared to <laughs> other people. Plus, like we have the lowest levels of low, lowest levels of unemployment. So all of that is fab. Like clearly, it's a city of hustlers, and people. Some people even choose to work overtime. Oh. Voluntarily. Yeah. Like Shahir yeah. over here. Always, I don't know, I'm just a hard worker. I was, I was bored that way, I was raised that way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that being said, literally. <laughs> that being said, <laughs> people are extremely hardworking. Mm -hmm. Every business or company that I've been a part of or seen or just generally witnessed, people work to the next level. Like, yeah. even in comparison to England. In Spain, they have like a nap hour, you know? I mean, all of that makes sense. Honestly, nap hours, all in for that. But I must say, uh, <laughs> um, seeing the comments on Instagram, like people were, people just had so much to say about this. Some are like, this is the city for hustlers. Uh, you know, you go and you work for what you want. You get what you want. And you just um, live the lifestyle. You work for the lifestyle that you want. And then some are just like, overtime, but no overcompensation for the overtime. You know, like a lot of thoughts around this topic. Yeah. Well, there are also laws in place that if you do work overtime, you're legally allowed to um, only work two hours overtime a day. Yeah, of course. And you have to get paid for it. So that's a conversation that we did have with Omar the lawyer that came back yeah. a few months. And he did mention that and he did clarify that. But also... But um, for some, it's just, you know, part of the job, right? Yeah. To work overtime. Yeah. 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 Well, that's like, you know, it it's varies not me from saying it. it's in the comments. It's from industry you know? to industry. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, I don't know how to. Anyways, 